All right, so here's the story. I got into knives, and I was kind of curious with uh, the Kershaw Shuffle 2. And I was trying to search online whether there is any comparison between the counterfeit one and the real one. And I could not find any information on it. So I thought I'll make it my own then, uh, and I'll make some you know, content and show other people what the fake one and the real one is like. So um, being in Asia, it's easy for me to get a counterfeit product from um, this also mighty platform Taobao.com, right? And so I went ahead onto the platform, and I actually also let me show you. Um, I went to inbox them, inbox this seller, and ask them, which is here in Chinese, of course and uh, ask him whether this is a real one or fake one. And he answered me that this knife is OEM'd in China, which is not answering, answering my question, right? And I knew for a fact that because I had families who worked in China in the factory before, that all exporting, exporting product has to, you know, and all the materials has to be reported and export out into the country after they're produced. So uh, sneaking one or two items out, you know, it's fine. Uh, there is a chance, but being able to sell it on Taobao at a, at a large quantity is it's not that possible. So I knew that this is not going to be an OEM product. This is just you know downright a counterfeit, right? And so I asked again. And so what's the difference with this and the real one? Then he just answered me, you know, this is China. China, just two words, China, uh, yeah, that's it. So um, I went ahead and fully expected this to be fake, right? Even the price is a fake price. It's cost me $8, and uh, the real one is selling on Amazon for $18, and more expensive on, on the official site. And so upon, uh, 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 upon receiving it, and immediately I know there is something wrong because um, I bought other real authentic Kershaw product before and um, they always have a sticker on it so this one doesn't have the sticker and on the address it says made in China but there is nowhere that says USA it's weird right they just you know take out the word USA but leave the address here and okay so the box the box is you know a, a little bit a, a little bit bad in quality but but who cares about the box, right? Um, let's open it inside. Okay, the manual. Uh, this is not properly folded. Like, how hard is it to fold a paper, man? Why don't they fold it properly? And inside the printing, it's quite obvious to me that this is looks like a, a photocopy of of a manual, not from a digital file. The the you know the, the resolution is kind of low and the, the ink here you see it's kind of badly printed and so I start reading it and this is probably from um, an authentic uh, menu but this is kind of weird with no nick I've never seen that before so uh, so yeah this is the menu right and so there you go and this is the knife the plastic bag is a little bit cheap but who cares about the bag right and okay, so here is the knife. So just by looking at this, I can't tell if this is the real one or or what. It's a, it just doesn't feel like a real thing, you know. It feels cheap. And when I first open it, it's kind of hard to open, but that's fine because even the authentic knives, when you first open it, it's it it's kind of hard to open. Um, uh, it breaks in after a while, right? And on the blade, it felt sticky. They have some some kind of oil on it, but it's not the oil I, I I'm I'm used to see. It's just felt like, you know, old engine oil. They were probably they probably used old engine oil on this, <laughs> just to you know get it more cheap, uh, save the cost. And I you can't tell right now whether this how different this is with the real run, right? So I went ahead and. Bam, bought the real one. And this cost me a lot because I'm in Asia and it's hard to 
get something from the U.S. and and you know ship it and ship it to 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 Asia, it cost the shipping cost quite a lot. This knife is selling for eighteen dollars on Amazon, and to ship it over, I have to pay a double. So I really did pay forty bucks for this eighteen dollars worth of knife. So you know, uh, just to you know make this comparison to show you guys. So Kersher, if you see this, please send me some knives to compensate me. Okay. So on the box, it there's a warning here, and there there is the address with the USA inside the sticker. So this is authentic for sure. At this point, right? Because I ordered it from a, uh, a dealer, right? And the box is much better better made. And the knives and the manual. Let's take a look at the manual first. It's not the best quality, but at least it's properly folded. You see? And they don't have the nail nick on it with flippers. With thumb stud. I don't know where the nail nick came from. So here's, I'm not going to read the manual. And the back is a little bit softer. So another who cares for item. So here's the real one. So first, I will put them together. It's so hard to close this. I can tell you that immediately, the fake one's on my on the left, and the real one is on the right. Then you can tell. The size, the color, everything is different. The size of the real one is a little bit smaller, and the color is more vibrant. Honestly, though, I kind of like the fake color. But anyway, uh, it's different in color, different size. If you look at this thumb stud there are sorry about this they are different in size too and and if you open this it's hard to open Let's see if I can flick this open uh, eh. ah, no 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 it's dangerous okay so let me see if I can this one I've been carrying around for a couple days so this is more broken ah there you go <laughs> okay so I can tell you the difference between them, the real one and fake one. The real one has a better stone wash color, more texture on that. The thumb stud is a little bit smaller on the real one. And the printing on the knives, let me get the reflection off, is off, just downright off on the, on the fake one. So somebody is bad at observation. And um, um, the, the plastic, they're both plastic, right? But you can tell there is a difference in, in the quality of the plastic when I push them equally, with e try to push them with an equal force. The fake one is more soft, okay? And, and uh, apparently the measurement is a little bit off because when I try to close the fake one, I keep pushing on the scale, which is sharp. This is sharp. It, it cuts my finger, it hurts. So I have to really have to dig my nails in to close it. So I guess that's why it says nail nick there. I have to dig my nails in to close this, which is kind of dangerous. Okay, and the real one is a little bit better. Like I can just push this. I can just push the lock here and then close this. And then I can open it again. Nice, smooth. And, uh, and so this is eight dollar, and this is eighteen dollars. This is only ten dollars difference. Why would you s skip on the ten dollars, ten soldiers price, and get a fake one? Why? There's no reason to. Even though I, I'm just gonna have to tell you this: that the Shuffle Two is not the best quality in 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 their product because I've also purchased all the Kershaw product like this. This is the uh, uh, Copper Matrix. This feels good. This is amazing, right? And it's aging really quickly. It's, since it's copper, it's aging quickly like I am. All right, back to this. And but I like this too because they have a bottle opener and a flat uh, flat head screwdriver on this, and which is good. But there's also something that I don't like about this design. It's the. Uh, it's why wouldn't they put? Put what's up jumping here. The design of this is allows you to put four fingers on this, and the thumb is absolutely always going to be on this 
position, right? So why don't they put some jumping here? But instead they put some here, which I know why. Because if you close this and try to open it, open the bottle opener like this, then you put your finger here, your thumb here, right? So yeah, but this is, uh, but it's all right. But there's also one very, very important thing that surprises me. And that's a not, that's not a good surprise. It's, it's right here. If you can look inside, let's see if I can tune it in. You can, I think you can barely see this, but I hope you can see this. Uh, I noticed the, the inside of the back, the backing here, like the metal backing, like this, this, this line here is cracked. How can, I don't know, I don't know why. This is a genuine product and apparently this passed the quality control and, and I hope you can see the crack inside. It isn't, it isn't, I mean, it's, it's not hindering the, uh, the functionality of the knife. It isn't, it's, it's, it's not a problem, but you just have, having this bought, especially for 40 bucks, and, and, and realize that there's a crack in the metal backbone there. It's, it's kind of you know, sad, but it's all right, all right? And so, uh, $8, $18, there's no reason to get the fake one. Even though I'm telling you that the quality of it, um, you, you never gonna know when this is gonna give, like what kind of metal they're using and what kind of metal they're using at the screws and the, and the joints. Like if you push it too hard, you don't, you don't know when they're gonna give and then hurt yourself. So why risk for you know only extra 10 bucks? And also one important thing, here, right here. Can you see this? Apparently, some idiot at the factory line thought that it's okay to screw, screw the screw in at an angle. So obviously, it is going to stop midway, and they script the screw like this, and they just went ahead and, and you know, you know, send it out. Who cares, right? This is fake. And yeah, so I'm not going to carry this. Yeah, let's get the real thing then. I'll show this once again. Just to be sure, you can pause the screen. Well, I can show you guys like this. Maybe it's better to to see it like this. Sorry about the camera. I only have this camera on my hand. And the printing. Get it? All right. 